Hi, you don't know who I am, but I'm Tony Lasano. And I'm Amy Zanglin. And we're from the hit show, Nude Hippo, your Chicago show. Stay tuned. Tape with Rabbi Doug is next. It is. Small, is that correct? That's correct. All right, and uh, 
You should all be successful, and uh, we should sell more kosher food. I'm in. All right, let's try out. Let's try out. We're here on tapes with Rabbi Doug. I'm here with John Records Landecker. Rabbi, nice to see John, you. John, welcome to the show. John you, is you. of Oldies 104.3. He's been with them for a number of years now. Almost six years now. Almost six years. John, you know, you've been with so many radio stations, WOS, WCFL. You were all over. I was not with WCFL. You were not with WCFL at all. No. Uh, see, somebody no. told me you were. Okay, no. you were with WLS, so yeah. I remember that's when I first learned about John Records Landecker. Can you tell me something? You know, it's, it's the 90s, and you're doing music from the 60s and early 70s. Is in the 50s even sometimes, is there a preference you have on a personal music level? 60s. 60s music. I graduated from high school in 1965. That's my favorite. And uh, <clears throat> you with your band, uh, the Legends, yeah. you know, you play a lot They're of... They're a bunch of ingrates, those Legends. I don't know why they perform with me, especially that little kid from the Legends. <laughs> He's a pet... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Is this a band that you've been playing with since you were younger, or do you guys just get up and say, I'm doing oldies on the radio, let's do some oldies and put them together as a band? You know, it's a very, very long story. Um, and it goes back to uh, the mid-70s. And uh, there was a band in Chicago called The Kind. And some of the people that are in The Legends were in The Kind. And uh, they're at an office in the same building as W.I. And he said to me, why don't you come see our band? went out to uh, see the band, and um, the band said, why don't you come up on stage and sing Gloria? So I did that, and uh, bye, there goes part of the band now. And uh, I sang Gloria with them and hung out with them, and we did a couple of shows together just for fun. And uh, then they went on their way, and I went on my way, and I went to Canada and worked for a couple of years, and came back to Chicago, and a few radio stations, moved uh, to Cleveland, worked in Cleveland for a couple of years, uh, came back to an office job in uh, Chicago, and the day I came back, I turned on the news, and uh, there was a news story about a guy who had died in an escalator accident. He was working in an escalator as a workman at Union Station, and the name was really familiar because it was the same name as one of the guys in the stand. Sure enough, uh, I got a call that day of a new job from their old record promoter. He said that this was the guy from the next guy that we had week. The next night, I went out there. Uh, these guys uh, that you see up here had formed the Legends with the guy about five years earlier. Uh, they were still going to continue. They played songs from the 60s. And they said, come out and sing with us sometime. And I said, ah, OK, but I'm not working off this. I don't think that'll happen. So uh, six months later, I was doing mornings at uh, Oldies 104.3. And the moment that that happened, uh, we got back together. That's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's, and that, and of course, the era of Landecker and the era of Legends, of course, was just well, coincidental. Exactly. And uh, I mean, that story spans in a nutshell from 1975 to about five years. The space of the five was, I don't know, 15 years ago. We're going to see. But the, for those people who aren't familiar with you and those of us who are familiar with you, um, everybody thinks that uh, you should change your name to John. Uh, C.D. Landecker, but could you tell the people the well, truth about the name record? This is his real name. That is my mother's maiden name, and uh, it is my middle name, and my parents gave it to me when I was born. And um, it's always been my name, and always will be my name. And uh, I used to listen to Chicago radio when I was uh, a kid. I, I was going to college in, in near Grand Rapids. And I could pick up WCFL and WLS, WCFL, that was my favorite station. And it had Ron Britton and Barney Pip and Jim Stagg and Joel Sebastian. And all these guys had uh, some little bit. And I, I was on the radio uh, and going to college. And uh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And then one day, I was just looking at my name. I don't know. It just came to me that I was looking at it. And suddenly it occurred to me that records was my was my name and that I was playing these records and that that would be my shtick. Yeah. And, and I thought what would happen would be that, first of all, people wouldn't believe it. But then when they found out the truth, they wouldn't believe it. But to this very day, you just ask me that question. So everybody here seen Titanic? Pretty long, long, long movie, that's all I gotta say. But at any rate, I never the legends would like to salute that great phenomenon known as Titanic. My performance for you now, the great Celine Dion song that we've heard so many times. Just for that. Wait a minute! That's not 
But you know, I brought something with me. I thought that uh, this would be good because we're going to play that wonderful song you did about the Bulls. And I said, you know, one of the things that I enjoyed doing this year most of all was our uh, uh, spiritual pep rally. This man was absolutely fantastic <laughs> on the air with you. And you know, on Friday, June 12th, I thought I would reenact Friday, June 12th, Here we the go. last time before the Bulls won the uh, championship when I was on the air with you. Here we come. And here it is. All right. It is Friday once again, and once again, I'll say my bit. This shall be the last game for the Bulls. There is no question. This is it. Our hearts have pitter-pattered, just as Chuck Governor Edgar, every moment, every game. But the outcome in the long run is no different. It's the same. That's right. The Bulls will send the Jazz on their merry way out west. Yes. Without a title to their name, they've been defeated by the best. You got it. We will have won title number six, and that is certainly no small feat. We'll have taken our three at home, and we'll celebrate our second three-peat. If you're like me, you'll miss the game, because it's on the Sabbath once again. But when the horn's on every auto honk all night, there will be no question. So once again, while they are playing, I'll be praying, and I know the answer will be affirmative on this very date. Tonight will be the night that the awesome Chicago Bulls will be the world champions of 1998. And it was so true. And, and we did win that weekend, and it was certainly an exciting weekend for us. Are there any Chicago Bulls fans here tonight? Yeah, they all live here at Island Park. <laughs> yeah, that's right. This song's not gonna be nothing. These people all have tickets. To, to ask you something else, you know, I know something else about you that you told me in private over the phone one time, and that is that uh, half of your family is Jewish, and... My, my father, yeah. Yeah, and, and I'm, I'm curious, because you're on my show, what's, what's the earliest memory of your Jewish 
family that you have about uh, Judaism and, and Jewish tradition? Something that like interested you that you always uh, kept uh, apart uh, to want to tell us well, yeah, uh, yeah, actually, uh, my father's family is Jewish. A friend of mine's, uh, Joe Friedman's bar mitzvah, yeah. really? made a big impression on me. I stood in his bedroom with him, and people came coming in. Handing him money. <laughs> Giving him money. And was, I'm like, oh, man. And what, you said, Mom, couldn't you have converted? What is the deal with this? Gosh, Joe, this is fantastic. <laughs> you and me. Uh, no, it's always been a presence in my life, and, um, and I'm very proud of it. Great, great. Well, you know, I want to thank you for being on the show. I want to oh. wish you much success. I know things, tell me before we go, things now, Catherine's been with you, must change the whole demeanor of the uh, show for you Catherine, to have someone, Catherine, like, sort of be a partner and yeah, a, a regular like that. You know, I did make a reference on the show tonight uh, here at Highland Park. Um, Catherine, uh, the show it is the best thing that's ever happened um, to me in radio since I worked at WLS in the 70s. Uh, I, don't, I hope we can sustain what we've achieved. Um, had the best ratings, uh, the morning show had the best ratings we've ever had, um, and I think, uh, you know, I've maintained for a long time that um, to, to have a successful show in the 90s, maybe not in the 70s, but in the 90s, it requires uh, chemistry between two people, uh, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, whether it was Steve and Gary, um, it, currently, you know, you have shows like um, uh, Howard Stern, very successful, who also has a very prominent person with him right. in, the, in the female newscast. Right. Uh, right. Um, Man Cow, Irma, Don has Roma. Um, it's an important... We just found out they're married, yeah. Well, we've known that for years. What a shot. Official one. Um, and, and Catherine's the best. And, Great. Uh, you know, um, and we complement each other perfectly. And, uh, you know, I, it's, I think the, the, the teaming of us together is, has made uh, us a major contender and it's going to keep us working for many years. I think so, too. You know, one of the things I think you look for the, you think that you're looking for the older crowd, people who were into this music when they were growing up, but, you know, I teach, one of the places I teach is in Highland Park, and I know a lot of the kids that were here tonight, and they were all coming up to me with the camera saying, oh, I saw your show, I heard you on John's show, and, and you know, I went around and talked to them. I said, you listen to John's show? And all of them are telling me, yeah, we love oldies rule, oldies yeah. rock, and the truth is, it's just like music is coming around, just like everything comes around and comes back, you know, you are, are successful with the kids, you're successful with the adults, and I wish you much success oh, in the future. You. And thank you so much for being on Take Grab by Doug John. You, I... John Records Landecker, welcome again to uh, being with us here in Highland Park and being on our show. We hope to see you again soon, and I hope thank to be on your show again soon as well. Absolutely. All right, Shalom.